Ah. Oh, hey, yo, hey everyone. Don't mind me, I'm just playing my 25th anniversary commemorative Legend of Zelda Special Edition Nintendo 3DS. If I'm going to play the Nintendo 3DS, I'm going to play with the Zelda logo on there. And uh, today we are going to be doing my Andrew Cutter Picks of the Week. I know I'm a few days late, but I have good reasoning for that. Um, one is I've been scheduled several morning hours this week, which have taken a lot out of me. Two, I've had some job interviews, and I've had some job interviews to prepare for this week. And three, the holidays. So there was just a lot of stuff working against me. But I will be doing it here and now, and I hope everyone had a good Easter for those of you that celebrate it. Now, one thing I'm going to say is for this Andrew Cutter Pick of the Week video, I'm only going to show you my Pick of the Week, uh, mainly because I already put my comics away in my box, and I don't like going through them and disorganizing everything and pulling everything out and trying to figure out exactly what I actually had this week, because after I do something, my memory kind of just goes and disappears. It's, it's like a goldfish, it's just gone. So, for those who are new to my channel and know nothing about this video series, basically my Andrew Cutter Pick of the Week videos are where I take a look at this week in DC Comics. Well, not this time because they're in the box, but I select the comic that I enjoyed the most, and then I declare it my Andrew Cutter Pick of the Week. I also talk about any news or updates pertaining to my channel or my life or anything else for that matter. So, uh, this week for DC Comics was the first week, and uh, it was a fairly big week, and it was because a lot of stuff was getting cancelled. Uh, excuse me, I just had lunch. Um, a lot of stuff was really good this week. There was a few comics that particularly stood out the most to me. Uh, some comics like Omax, some comics like Animal Man. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, Animal Man was great because it had that punt. Animal Man just punts an animal's head off. Really good. Um, but there's, there's a lot of stuff that stood out, but I think it's no surprise what my Andrew Cutter Pick of the Week is going to be, and that is going to be Swamp Thing number 8. Um, I said it before, I'll say it again, Swamp Thing is uh, really knocking it out of the ballpark. Scott Snyder is doing a very good job with this and with Batman. What I particularly like about this issue is the fact that we got the reveal of Swamp Thing. He's telling us how it feels to be Swamp Thing, and then him going about and just beating up the rot. Had a pretty good ending to it, and just all in a whole, it's a it's a continuous reminder of how good this series has been, and I almost didn't pick it up. I am glad I did. Swamp Thing has turned out to be fantastic. So, uh, if you're not picking up Swamp Thing or Animal Man, I uh, highly recommend you do so. My buddy who I work with, who's a big comic book fan, is not picking up Animal Man and Swamp Thing. And um, I'm actually a little disappointed in him because uh, those are really good books. They are some of the 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 best that the New 52 has to offer. And then they're, they're not even like the most popular characters out there. They're not Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. They're Swamp Thing and Animal Man. And mind you, Swamp Thing is a fairly popular character. Still, you get what I'm saying. So on to my. Um, my news and or updates. <sighs> Where to start? Let's start with some video games, shall we? Um, this week has been a very good week for me for video games because I got some more. I'm going to have to stop buying video games because I have so many on the back lot. I have, let me just count, uh, one, two, three, four, five, Six-ish, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have about eleven games I have that I have not beaten yet. Uh, three of which I'm pretty much close to beating. Mario and Luigi Partner in Time at the final boss. I just need to, I need to build up the energy to actually fight this final boss. And then um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I'm at the very last few stages. And Wario Land. I am uh, pretty much at the last stage too. Uh, shake it, Wario Land. Shake it. But, uh, like I said, this week was a pretty good week for video games. Uh, two things happened. Uh, one is, I went to GameStop on Thursday. And I know a lot of people... I, uh, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Ah, buggers. One second. Mistake fixed. I, I got the wrong game. Uh, silly me. But, um, yeah, I... Uh, I know a lot of people don't like GameStop, 
A lot of people like to buy stuff online or go to GameFly or something like that. I like GameStop. Sure, they do ask me like 9 million questions and sometimes they can be complete assholes depending on what GameStop I go to. But the one that I go to that is in Stoneham, which is not too long, uh, far away from where I live, uh, the people are nice there. They never overbear me with those ridiculous suggestive selling. Um, and I actually sit down and I talk to some of the people. There's a guy there named Bob that's really good. And I talk to him a lot about video games. So anyways, I went to GameStop. I went to go and put down some money on some games. On Paper Mario, Last Story, and Bioshock. Uh, which uh, won't be coming out for a bit. But I thought might as well put down the money now. So I don't have to deal with it later. You know, like five bucks a week. Eventually it'll get paid off. Apparently, they were doing a buy two, get one free sale. Really? Uh, I like buy two, get one free sales. You know why? Because I buy two and I get one free. Uh, and I looked around and I was... Well, first of all, I didn't know about the sale. I was just looking around and I found Trauma Center New Blood, which I was looking for and it's hard to find. Um... So now I got this, and I brought it up, and the gentleman, uh, Bob, particularly said, you know, you can pick up two other games and get a uh, game for free. Okay, you hooked me. Uh, I wasn't planning to, but I went out and I got two other games. So I got Trauma Center New Blood. Now there's only one Trauma Center I'm mi uh, missing, which is uh, Trauma Team. Got New Blood. Um, then I went out, and I wanted to get a few Wii games, but I, I decided to get one more Wii game, which was Epic Mickey. Um, uh, I was debating on whether or not to get this game, because I'm not a huge Disney fan. My fiancé is obsessed with Disney. My fiancé, when she was young, up until the age of maybe 15, 16, would go to Disney twice a year, roughly. Once to two times uh, a year. Um, I'm okay with Disney, but... Uh, Epic Mickey looks like it was a good game and interesting concept. I heard there's some camera angle problems. Yeah, I, I dealt with Super Mario Sunshine, trust me, camera angles, it can't get worse than that. But, um, yeah, so I got this, Epic Mickey, and, you know, it was a cheap game, so might as well pick it up. And then I also got Fallout New Vegas. I played Fallout 3, I really enjoy Fallout 3. A lot of people told me not to get New Vegas, but it was like 7 bucks. so you know what? Screw it, I got it for free. So I got those, so I got some new games. I already played, uh, started playing New Vegas, and uh, it's kind of funny. In regular Fallout, I was trying to be make my character. It was a girl, and I forget what I did for the name. Um, I don't think you pick a name. I don't know. Uh, but I was trying to be the nicest person in the game. Always a goody two-shoes. In Fallout New Vegas, I am an absolute horrible individual. Like, I would go into beds, people's beds at night and just bat on their head, and then boom, 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 boom. So, um... And I got some pretty good ammo from it, so I'm trying to be as evil as I can in this game just to see, just to get a different experience. Then I also ordered online um, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, the last uh, Nintendo GameCube game that I needed to get. Uh, the reason why I need this is because, as I said, I pre-ordered Paper Mario for the uh, 3DS. And I've played the Wii one, and I'm currently playing the N64 one, but I'm going to need the uh, GameCube one. So I got it. Everything's in good condition. Uh, what I like is the case is in good condition. You guys have to understand I'm a very anal gamer. I, I don't get game shots and uh, pick up games that have bad cases that are, you know, stickers right here, and it's torn and everything. Or It's one of those generic cases. No, it has to be in nice, pristine condition because I'm an anal kind of gamer. So I got that online. For a decent price, and then I also bought uh, Trauma Center Under the Knife 2, which I'm currently playing and I'm currently enjoying. So, uh, pretty good week uh, gaming wise for me. So, uh, yeah, uh, what else has been going down? I haven't been able to play as much DCU online as I would like to. My buddies that play it have been busy, and I have been busy. As I said, um, I've had uh, um, tomorrow. I have to go do a job interview uh, with Aflac, and then I have a uh, meeting with a headhunter on Wednesday at ten o'clock. So I have to be at the interview tomorrow at nine, which um, I just did a dry run today. It shouldn't be that bad driving. It's like a half hour drive. Roughly. And then um, the Partners one is in Boston, the, is a headhunter for Partners. Uh, so I have to do that on Wednesday, and I'm thinking about just taking the T in. 
uh, taking the red line or the orange line and getting on the red line tomorrow I'll look it up so I have a hefty week and then I'm probably going to be driving my niece everywhere on Thursday in addition to that with work and everything very busy uh, as I said in my last uh, Andrew Cutter uh, or my Andrew uh, what I am thinking uh, I guess Andrew Cutter what I'm thinking in my last what I am thinking video I'm big into wrestling right now I am really really pumped the rock is back rock Lesnar is back it's feeling like a little bit like wrestling was beforehand so I'm pumped about that but um, my next what I am thinking um, I have two coming up one is I said I'm going to do a very personal one where I'm just going to talk about something that's been on my mind uh, something that's been on my mind for a long time uh, but before that I am going to do and I don't know if I've ever done this before. I did a What I Am Thinking kind of like this. Uh, but uh, previously I did a What I Am Thinking uh, should Marvel reboot or relaunch. Would it be beneficiary to them? Uh, I'm going to do a follow-up video and say if I had control over Marvel, how would I reboot or relaunch the product? Uh, so I'm going to do that one and I'm probably going to do it up maybe tonight when I get home from work because I have to go to bed early to wake up early so I don't have to deal with traffic uh, but we'll see what's happening and also I have a top 10 countdown coming up for my top 10 favorite uh, Disney movies uh, right now like I said my fiance is big in Disney uh, not so much myself but she's sitting me down she's making me watch all the movies I shouldn't say that she's not making me do anything I asked her to. Uh, you know, when you're in relationships, you have to give and take, and you have to um, gear towards each other's interests. My fiance will sit down and watch wrestling with me. She will sit there and read a comic with me, or she'll help me out with something on D&D &D or something like that. She is a excellent, most amazing woman because she deals with my ridiculous um, vices, for lack of a better term. Comic books is a vice, but... Um, I thought it'd be nice if we sat down and we watched some Disney movies. Uh, last night we just watched Hercules. Before that we watched Sleeping Beauty. Um, and the next on my list is I want to watch Cinderella. After Cinderella I want to jump into um, oh bloody hell, Little Mermaid because I did watch that when I was a kid but it was so long ago. Uh, the only film I do not want to watch is Pinocchio because I never liked Pinocchio. Uh, so don't see that on the countdown at all. So yeah, that's kind of the stuff that's been going down. Uh, my videos, uh, my video for my comic reviews may be up a little later on Wednesday, but it should still be up. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to do a video about wrestling with my friend, a podcast of so sorts that's going to be on his channel. Uh, but uh, the thing is, is my buddy, and I'll talk about him right now. My buddy's name is Connor, and his channels down there is called OK Fave. Um, and we were friends, and I'm going to get very personal here. Um, not too personal, but uh, Connor and I, were uh, we first met when we were 14 and freshman year of high school. And uh, what what started our friendship? Wrestling. Um, and we became friends for the next, I would want to say, five years. Uh, we were hardcore friends. Uh, I considered him one of my best friends. Um, funny thing is, is from the ages of like 14, uh, like 19, every Friday my buddies would come over my house, stay over, there'd be like six of us there, and then uh, we would wake up mad early, we would stay up late and then wake up mad early and then go to karate the next day uh, on Saturday, but was one of my best friends. And then uh, we kind of all went our separate ways, our friends, uh, a group of friends, for whatever reason. You know, college was one of the reasons, and then there were other issues here and there. Not all of them negative, just, you know, when you, you find out when you get older, sometimes people just grow apart, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and then Connor has, since, since then, is now the manager at a store, has gone and engaged, and is uh, has a child. So, and his child is the most adorable little thing in the world. His child does wrestling with me. Um, so, um, we have reconnected and we are friends once again, starting to get our friendship rolling again. Um, and if there's anyone in the world that, that knows more about wrestling than me and likes wrestling more than me, it's Connor. He's the only person, really, uh, that I can say. Because he has, uh, not only he does he watch wrestling... Um, but he also has participated in the, what the hell is this? 
Um, he's also participated in the wrestling world. He has refereed. I think he's done some booking at some stuff, small independent shows. So uh, he he's really knowledgeable about wrestling. He has a channel, like I said, down here where he does wrestling news and recaps and stuff like that. So uh, I highly recommend you check out his channel. And like I said, we will sit down, him and I, sometime. I'll either podcast it or at some point do a video about wrestling. Uh, the reason why we haven't been able to do it lately is, like I said, uh, he's busy at work, he has a child, he has a fiance, and I've been busy at work, I've been busy job, uh, shopping, uh, job shopping, job hunting, I have a fiance, I have karate. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we've been busy, but uh, putting that all aside, I should have that podcast up too. Um, and yeah, if at any time you guys want to do a podcast, at any point, uh, do a video, collaboration short sorts, you can always just let me know and I would be 100% open to doing it. Uh, so yeah, I will end this video here. I've been talking a little too long. Uh, but this is Andrew saying peace out for now.